What's up, wizards? We have a really interesting topic to talk about today, which is TypeScript enums. TypeScript enums, should you use them or should you do something different? It's pretty fashionable to actually kind of bash on TypeScript enums themselves, not the concept of enums, but the particular keyword that you use in TypeScript to express them. This is the piece of syntax I'm talking about, enum log level, and then you can have debug error warning, you can put anything you want in here. You can specify these with numbers, manually if you want to, or you can use strings like this. There's also a version of an enum called a const enum, which we'll look at in a bit as well. So why do enums get so much flack? Well, the first thing is you might notice that the const enum thing, or just enum by itself, is not something that's native to JavaScript. This was actually something that they introduced pretty early on in TypeScript, and because they wanted to give a sort of like a C-sharp object-oriented feeling to TypeScript. But I saw an interview with Anders recently, and he said that if they had a green field, they probably wouldn't make that mistake again. Like if TypeScript started, you know, today or last Monday or whatever, they probably wouldn't put enums in the language. Language. Enums behave a little bit unpredictably at runtime. So let's say we have this enum log level. By default, the value of debug is going to be zero. Warning is going to be one, error is going to be two. So naturally, you kind of think that this log level is kind of going to end up like an object like this with debug zero, warning one, error two. But it actually doesn't. If we look at the transpile JavaScript here, then this log level actually ends up as a slightly different object. We can see this kind of funky syntax where it goes, okay, first we assign log level debug to zero, then the result of that, which is going to be zero, will say log level zero equals debug. And then it does that for each of them. So what you end up with is actually an object that looks like this log underscore level where we have debug zero, but also zero debug. This means that if you do object.values on a log level, you're going to end up with zero debug, one warning, two error, which if you're treating this like an object is totally not what you expect. So this is the first annoying thing about enums is that they don't quite behave exactly as you expect them to. This is slightly different if you were to use a string enum. If you were to manually assign debug to debug, warning to warning, error to error, then it just creates an object out of this. But if you do this, it sort of defeats the point of using an enum in the first place, which is these things don't get automatically assigned. Sure, they're fine, but it's just a little bit iffy. <laughs> I said iffy, and this is an immediately invoked function expression, which is an iffy. So it's a joke. Not a very good joke. The way that you use an enum is kind of like this, where you say, okay, imagine you have a log function where it takes in a message and a level here. You can specify this as kind of like any member of this enum. This means that enums sort of like switch over to the type world as well as live in the runtime world, which is useful. Then you can call it with log level .debug. You can't call it with like a member of the enum that isn't expressed as the enum. So you can't just pass like debug here. It has to be log level .debug. This is really weird because we know that TypeScript is like a structural type system, meaning that it doesn't really care about the names of things, only about their runtime values. So surely it shouldn't care whether we pass debug or log level .debug because the values are the same. Well, enums break a little bit of a rule in TypeScript, which is it does care about the names of things. For enums, TypeScript it becomes a nominal type system. It cares about either whether it's a log level enum or a log level two enum. Here, if I create log level and log level two, even though the values are exactly the same, I can't assign log level two dot debug to this level here. Now, this does give you some benefits. It means that you can do really nice refactors where you just sort of change all of the members around and it fits really well with VS Code. So people who love enums name this as their number one reason why they use them. Refactors are just so easy. Let's look briefly at const enums too. So if we change this from log level to const enum log level, then look at that. Look at the right hand side when I add this const then actually the enum itself disappears at runtime. This means that the enum then only exists in TypeScript in the type level. But this is kind of weird. It's stripped out at runtime, but then it's actually added in line wherever you use it. This kind of seems like quite a good compromise really, because it's 
You can't really access the runtime structure, so it's not going to confuse you, but it gives you all of the benefits of type safety with your enums. And if you like the refactors, then the refactors are just as easy with as with normal enums. However, the TypeScript docs pretty much kind of say you probably shouldn't use this. It has an entire section on all of the pitfalls of const enums. You should also never, ever, ever use them if you're inside library code too, because const enums are really dangerous if you don't control the compiler that's emitting them. Basically, all of these edge cases are enough to just scare me off recommending const enums because there's so many simpler solutions. The thing that I do instead of using enums, and I've seen this all over the place in open source application code, is using a POJO, a plain old JavaScript object that's just got this as const annotation on it. As const means that this object can't be manipulated or changed. There's a little bit of type magic here to extract the type out so we can use it. We're just extracting the object values. And then this log level ends up as debug or warning or error. So now we put level as log level and we can either pass log level dot debug or just pass in debug itself. For me, this feels like a really natural way to do it because you don't need to actually import the log level every time you need to use it. You can just pass in the value that you want to. This really makes sense to me because I think of TypeScript as a structural typing system. And this weird kind of nominal enum thing doesn't really fit with me. So here, because the only thing that log cares about is the value of debug, we could exchange different enums and like, it's just working at the type level how you expect it to work at the runtime level. The other really cool thing about as const is it lets you be super flexible with the object that you create these keys in. So here I've got a mapping between the levels and a human readable version of that level. Instead of the log level being extracted from the values, it's now being extracted from the keys. And in this log function, we receive that log level and we index into the log level in order to get the uh, debug warning or error thing here. And that means we can prepend our message with the level that it's at. When you think about this, your brain just starts like exploding with all of the possibilities here because I mean, I've done this just dozens of times in application code where you have a mapping between like a semantic key, you know, an enum, and the thing that you want that semantic key to represent. This could be as diverse as, you know, variants in a component or, you know, screen sizes or languages, all of these different things. And being able to represent those in as const really makes it a killer feature over enums themselves. To represent this same code with an enum, you would need to declare the enum, then have your titles map, which has all of the enum mapping done there, then extract the enum in there, then use the enum inside the log function. It's just like a lot more code. And I think an as const does this a lot better, a lot cleaner. I think you should ignore enums. I think you should forget they exist. And I think you should flag in PRs that this should probably be an as const. I don't think you should reject PRs that have enums in, but I do think you should try to monitor when they go into your code base and see if they're really necessary. I don't even teach enums in total TypeScript. That's how little I think of them. And Total TypeScript, by the way, is my paid TypeScript course if you want to learn more about this stuff and become a TypeScript wizard. You can have a look on TotalTypeScript.com. One final thing here, which is if enums ever make their way into JavaScript language as a whole, I think that would be a different conversation. There is an ECMAScript proposal right now to bring enums into JavaScript natively. I don't know if the implementation is slightly different to the way that TypeScript does enums, but I know that if enums were in JavaScript, then you'd be able to use them a lot more predictably because it would be so much better documented. I mean, obviously TypeScript has done a great job documenting these enums, but they're special to TypeScript. Whereas if they were native to JavaScript, everyone would understand them out of the box. If you've enjoyed this video, then do hit the like button. I realized the other day why people ask people to like hit the like button. It's because it's an actionable thing that I can ask you to do to prove to YouTube that you think this channel deserves more viewers. It costs nothing for you to do, maybe other than to like remove full screen and like press it there. It's like four clicks or something. So if you want to do the minimum possible thing that you could possibly do to support me in this channel, then just hit that like button. And if you enjoy TypeScript debates, you will love this video on types versus interfaces as well. And which one should you use? Should we for be forgetting all about interfaces? No. But should we be using types mostly? Probably yes. Thanks so much for joining Wizards. I will see you soon.